Let's do a basic Euler's method in a spreadsheet. Differential equation, y prime equals t minus y squared. Over the time interval 0 to 1, stepping by 0 0.25 on the time axis each time. The initial condition is 0 for t and 1 for y. And Euler's method basically says that the next y value is equal to the current y value plus the slope times the change in time. So from 0 to 1, stepping by 0 0.25, my initial condition for t is 0, and my initial condition for y is 1. That's my initial t naught and y naught. But I'm going to take four steps, 4k. So let's say k equals previous k, a9, plus 1. That'll be my first step first value, the slope reading, is going to be the cell E9 minus C9 squared. First value of DT I'm going to be setting to 0 0.25. And the first value of DY, change of Y, is going to be F of TKYK times change in time. After that it's a matter of copying to the next row. Now I want B10 to be equal to B9 plus the change in T. So equal B9 plus change in T was E9. That's my new T. My new Y is equal to the previous Y, C9 plus change in y, which is f9. I can copy the formula I put up for f, bring it down to the next row. I want to set this cell, the dt cell, equal to the cell above it. And that's going to have a neat feature that if I change the dt cell, say to 0 0.1, it'll automatically change the cell underneath it. take the formula for dy and copy it to the next level. And I can have as many values as I want just by filling the formula down. And I can have as many tk and yk I can change the dt and automatically the tk yk will change with it. So let's go back to 0 0.25 and I only wanted to go to 1 so let me take out these other values. Let's make a chart out of these values. Select the values that I want to make a chart out of. Chart wizard. Set up a scatter plot. Connect the dots with straight lines. It's about what it's going to look like. We can doctor it up a bit. Check out the grid lines. I want grid lines on the x-axis. Let's import this into my sheet. It's a little bit crowded, so let's get rid of some of these things. Change the series labels. So I don't need so many decimals. Change the color of the background. Change the scale on the x-axis to reflect the 0.25 step I took. I could do much more to decorate this too, adding labels to the figures, or even increasing, adding another element to my graph just by dragging the table down.